Hello again. And look at this beautiful sunset. Here we are at the back of Nobadir again. And it's a beautiful Saturday night here. And if you're interested in the subject matter, please listen to my talks. Please subscribe to Philosophy Pop-Up Workshop. My name is Colin Wyatt Letty. And I'd like to say something this evening about the census. I know for some it's a very, very difficult thing. Uh, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of anxiety. Uh, I certainly think I understand without being in the situation how people will be reluctant to participate. But uh, let me say a few other things about it. We've had a census since 1790, every 10 years. It's in the Constitution. It's an absolutely critical part of enabling this country to run. It is an absolutely essential building block. We've had it every 10 years. You can look at the Constitution and you will see it written in. To my knowledge, there have not been any abuses, maybe possible manipulation, but not abuses in terms of uh, going, uh, using it to get information on people or going into people's privacy. The, the, the negative side, if people do not participate, and as I say, it's, understands, it's understandable that people would choose not to or be very, very wary of it. But I want people to see the big picture. Not only has it been a, a building block and has been there ever since the beginning, but it is absolutely critical in getting funding to communities. It's how the federal government allocates money. And I can tell you, if we go from the national, where you have 330 million people in a very large area, including people who are in very remote places, like for instance, some of the native peoples. Look at the Navajo in the Southwest and look at how big that reservation is. That is very, very remote, or the Hopi who are actually in, inside, in the center of the Navajo reservation. It takes a lot of money and it takes a lot of time to get to everyone in the country. That was an example from the nation. On Nantucket, I can tell you without a doubt, there has been a lot of undercounting, in the, at least in the last two census, censuses, if not three. What that means, when one person is not counted, that's over $10,000 that the town does not get from the federal government. So not only is there a moral responsibility to be counted, but it actually will come back because it will affect if you have children. It can end up affecting health care. It can affect their education if there's short funding. And imagine if a few hundred people on Nantucket aren't counted, that's actually millions of dollars that Nantucket Town is not getting from the federal government. It is absolutely essential that people participate. And I tell you, even in the worst case scenario, if you had people who were some how going to try to abuse this, they would be madmen or madwomen and or fools because it would be the end of the census. The census would lose all credibility and that would be the end of it. And I don't know what we would do in the future as a nation without it. So I would just hope that you will think about all these things and consider what I'm saying and make a decision. And I thank you very much, and God bless.